Determine whether the equation is exact. If it is, then solve it. So the equation we are given here is cosine x cosine y plus 2x dx minus sine x sine y plus 2y dy equals 0. So we're going to solve this through the exact approach in which we'll denote the first term as m and the second term as n. However, in this problem, we are given a negative sign here or a minus sign in front of the entire dy term. So for the sake of simplification, let's rewrite this as cosine x cosine y plus 2x dx. Uh, this time plus instead of the minus. And then this time we are distributing the negative sign in front of these two terms, negative sine x sine y minus 2y dy equals 0. Now we can actually apply the m and n terms properly so we can prove they are exact. So now let's take the partial derivative of m with respect to y del m del y and this equals let's see cosine x is a constant and we are differentiating cosine y the derivative of cosine y is negative sine y so we'll have a cosine x the constant times the negative we'll put the negative in the front sine y and the derivative of 2x with respect to y is just zero so that is all what the partial derivative of m would be. And now let's do the partial derivative of n with respect to x, the other variable, which is equivalent to del n del x. And this equals this time the sine y is a constant as well as the negative sine. So let's bring that out, negative sine y. This will be multiplied by the derivative of sine x, which is just cosine x the derivative of negative 2y would be 0 since we are differentiating with respect to x and as you can see negative cosine x sine y is indeed equivalent to negative sine y cosine x therefore my equals nx which is an exact equation now let's find the parent function f of x comma y this is equivalent to the integral of m dx or n dy and this equals the integral of this entire m term that we found here cosine x cosine y plus 2x dx so here now we are integrating with respect to x so the cosine y is treated as a constant so let's put that out in the front, cosine y. And what's the derivative of cosine x? That's just sine x. So times sine x. Integral of 2x would be uh, 2x squared over 2, which would eventually you know, become x squared, plus the functional constant g of y. So let's rewrite this as sine x cosine y plus x squared plus g of y. We are almost done. Let's find the g of y constant. And by doing that, we take the derivative of f with respect to the other variable y, which is equivalent to, well, let's see here, the derivative of sine x with respect to y would still just be the constant. And uh, we see cosine y derivative of that would be negative sine y. So it would be negative sine x times sine y plus 0 for the x squared plus g prime of y or the derivative of g of y. And this is equivalent to n, which is equivalent to, as we found over here, negative sine x sine y minus 2y. So let's cancel out the negative sine x sine y to isolate for g prime of y. And we are left with only g prime of y equals negative 2y. But for the final answer, we don't need g prime of y. We need g of y. So let's integrate this term, which would become, let's bring out the negative 2 in the front since it's a constant, negative 2 times the integral of y dy. This equals negative 2y squared 
over 2. And uh, this simplifies to, let's write that over here, g of y therefore equals negative y squared. So now we have all that we need to make the parent function f of x comma y, the general solution, equals what we wrote here, sine x cosine y, plus x squared, plus g of y, which we determined was negative y squared, so let's turn that plus into a minus, minus y squared, equals some constant c, since this is not an initial value problem, we are not given a point for this function, so we can confidently assume that this would be c on the right side. So our answer for this equation is sine x cosine y plus x squared minus y squared equals c. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below, and good luck.